Hi, my name is John Kinzella. I'm a fourth generation farmer. Um, we run our family farm here. I work it with my father in uh, Wading River. We grow um, strawberries, asparagus, um, blackberries, blueberries, raspberries, hops, um, as well as some summer vegetables. Our farm was started by my great-grandfather um, in the early 1900s when he immigrated here from Poland. And historically the farm was a potato farm, like many farms on eastern Long Island. And <clears throat> we always grew potatoes and strawberries back then. Um, and then over time, you know, even my great-grandfather had to adapt with the changing times. Um, you know, potato farming no longer became profitable for our farm. So he had to move on to different crops such as cauliflower, um, broccoli, and those crops were sold in Riverhead at the local um, wholesale market there, which existed at the time. And <clears throat> moving further on, my grandfather, when he was running the farm um, in the 60s and 70s, he also had to make some changes um, because it no longer became profitable for a small farm like us to wholesale a crop. Um, so he focused on growing vegetables. Uh, at that time we grew um, tomatoes, peppers, eggplant, string beans, um, pickles, cucumbers, zucchini, uh, many different types of peppers. And uh, the main market for those crops was a UPIC operation. Uh, many uh, families would come from uh, further west on the island and they would come out with their family and they would pick crops uh, to preserve for the winter uh, to put them away so they wouldn't have to you know rely on a store or a market um, they could come out here pick nice healthy fresh crops and preserve them the way they want uh, my father was the first person to introduce asparagus on our farm um, which is a great crop because it's a spring crop it's very early in the season you're harvesting that crop and it gives us a way to you know, um, start selling something, start, um, you know, regaining familiar, familiarity with our customers um, after the long winter. Um, and then since then we've um, focused a lot on berries. Um, like I said, one of the things we're most well known for is our strawberries, which we've grown continuously for over a hundred years uh, since my great grandfather. And um, our strawberries, we do an old-fashioned kind of production system. It's a two-row system. Um, many people use a matted row system, and the two-row system is a little more work. It's a little more labor-intensive, um, but we find that it, um, it grows a better berry. There's more sunlight getting into the canopy and uh, ripening the berries, uh, the flavors better. Um, so every June, that's the biggest thing on the farm is our U-Pick strawberry operation, um, and we also sell already picked um, strawberries on the stand and we also take them to the farmers markets on the weekend. So I love farming because I love um, working outside. Uh, you know I really love working with uh, my family. I think not a lot of people have the benefit to you know go to work with their dad every day and work side by side and you know carry on our family's legacy. You know, farms are the reason that people come out to the east end of Long Island to um, you know come strawberry picking, apple picking, pumpkin picking, um, to visit the wineries we have here. So if for as a young farmer, if if you the average age of a farmer is uh, you know in the late 60s. So for a younger farmer trying to get into farming in the first place or someone like myself where we're trying to grow the business, we're trying to get a little bit more land um, back that we've originally had in our family. Um, the the value of the land is exorbitant and without working with some someone like the Peconic Land Trust it's a very um, hard landscape to navigate you know working with a trust and the level of professionalism um, dedication and commitment that they've brought um, just to us and as well as the other farmers it's really second to none and um, you know we're very grateful uh, that they have um, championed you know my father's cause to you know preserve our farm um, and try to get some of the farmland back that was originally uh, my great-grandfather's you know once you build on it it's hard to turn it back into a farm